Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys this crazy kind of custom that I ended up making. Now, I know I'm not the first to market. Uh, there was another dude, a, a real um, reputable customizer that actually ended up making a pair. And um, I mean, I was trying to get the first one out there, but it is what it is. It's not like it's an original concept, but this is a boost a slide. And if you guys like this video, please show your support. Give the video a thumbs up. These did not come out perfect. There's no way that these came out perfect. Uh, and there was a lot of issues that I had. Boost is one of the like toughest materials to work with, in my opinion at least. And I'm not a customizer by trade. I just do it for fun. But you can see how rough the edges are. When you're like, and I was rushing to try to do this in the middle of like trying to put the baby down for a nap and him waking up and stuff. So not a great idea. You definitely need to give yourself time when you're working with the boost and you can't rip um, the stuff apart too quickly or it will rip and it makes it really different, difficult to uh, salvage. Um, but I ended up making this uh, custom and I ended up using the Ultra Boost uh, insole as kind of the, uh, the bottom of the shoe because, and the wife actually mentioned this before we even saw the images of the, what the guy created, and it was just, the bottom was just too rough because you're coming up with this bottom because I'm gonna use the Pure Boost twos or the Pure Boost one, it's the same um, midsoles. But there's no um, there's no liner and it makes it really rough looking um, and not really as wearable. So these are 100% wearable for sure. They're not perfect. I had to cut the toe box area off a little bit because they're too long because the shoe it molds up and you can see it pulls the the uh, tip up, which means that this is um, a little bit bigger than like my nine and a half. It's actually more like probably a ten or so. And so I had to like improvise quite a bit. So I cut the tip off and then I added. The Ultra Boost liner, whoops, whoa, flying razor blades. Added the Ultra Boost uh, liner and then use this slide. And I'll link the slide if you guys are interested in, in checking these ones out. These things were actually really, really comfortable without the uh, this customization. I, I probably wouldn't have done the customization if I would have known that these were so comfortable. But these are super affordable. Um, I think like $30 or something like that. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and, and just show you guys the rest of the procedure to make this little Frankenstein thing happen. I don't, you know, it's just one of those things that the market definitely needs one of these slides. These boost slides would be amazing. I, I bet you Adidas is already like hopefully thinking of something for this because this would be just uh, a game changer in the slide market. It's such a comfortable material and th these are just extremely, extremely comfortable. So definitely a fun um, concept, I guess. And it's one that I definitely didn't execute very well. So anyway, so I also created these ones a while ago. If you guys did not see, it is, look, look at the bottoms are all yellowy. But uh, but these are my Roshi Run Boost. Um, and these things are insanely comfortable. And these are 100% wearable. They're definitely um, really, really sturdy. And, and the way that these ones were created was pretty good. The tone was a little bit off. But other than that, these things are like great. And I wear these quite a bit. They're just ultimate comfort with, with both of the Roshi and the Boost. Um, I've also done the, the Ultra Boost um, sole swap with the fly knit uppers on the racers, which didn't work very well because the racer upper was too small for the, the um, Ultra Boost bottom. So long story short, there's a lot of uh, stuff to go over. So I'm just going to kind of go through some time lapses with you guys and show me creating uh, these sneakers.
So once I get to this point, you can see we have the midsole really, really rough. The toe box is a disaster. Parts of this is again really rough. And then we have the Ultra Boost um, thing down. I just wanted to make sure this is all the way back. So this is a pretty much the shell. Um, and then we're going to take this and then put a, the strap over top. Now, unfortunately, I warped this one, so it's a little bit rough comparison to the first one, but. Eh, it is what it is. It's hard to get all the, the crap off of it, but we're going to put this one here on this side and then this one on this side and it's going to form the uh, sandal. Uh, before we do that though, there's definitely some maintenance to be done. So what I'm going to do is do what I did on the previous and I'm just going to use scissors. These are like meat scissors um, that I got brand new kitchen knife sets and I'm just going to I'm just going to actually just chop it off and circle it and stuff and it's kind of ghetto but So final thoughts on the custom, definitely poorly executed. I would consider this a fail to some extent. On the flip side, it is a really comfortable shoe, uh, but it just aesthetically doesn't look very good. This is definitely one of my favorite ones that I did just because it's wearable 100% and it's super, super comfortable. It was the best alignment between the Pure Boost and the Roshi for like this um, to come together. This was a little bit more difficult because the shoe is a little bit narrower, as you can see right here, versus what the intention was. So as a result, this area right here, unless you have a thin, like skinny foot, this area is a little bit too narrow uh, for my foot. So, you know, that being said, um, I think that they're comfortable. They're definitely really, really comfortable. They're not like perfect because of the, the midsole has issues, but this shoe, um, base was definitely like a better choice than doing the Ultra Boost one because Ultra Boost just wouldn't have been able to happen. At least this one's fairly flat, and um, the only difference was the toe area, which I had to kind of hack. Otherwise, it would have not uh, worked. But I wish I could have done a better job than that. The only other thing I can think of is by um, you know doing the midsole black again, it might conceal some of the blemishes in the uh, you know this sort of stuff where it was just hacked together, and uh, you know. You win some, you lose some. I think this one was a loss, but you guys leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and really, I think that this is just one of those ones that's really, really hard to pull off and make it look 100% factory uh, because we don't have the, the ability to make a tooling like this. If they would just be, be able to do this with Ultra Boost material and then not, not even the bottom part, just use the bottom parts like this, we would have a huge win. Um, so... I think that this was one of those things where hopefully in like six months, a year from now, this will be just a stupid video because people are going to be like, they do make, they do make uh, Adidas boost slides. Um, but as of the point of this video, that, I mean, it was just conceptual of why I wanted to try to hack job it. And that's what I did. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, show your support. Even if it is not a perfect rendition of the model, um, the thought was there. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Thank you.